going to share with you a subtraction game. Um, and on your paper, I think it might say Lego subtraction game, but I've, I've have a few other things you can use if you don't have Legos at home. Um, so I've got Legos here. I've also got some blocks here. Really anything that you can stack at home will work just fine. Um, and so what you're gonna wanna start with is you're gonna start with stacking your blocks or your Legos, whatever it is that you have. We're just going to stack them. Okay, so I'm only going to start with stacking 10. Um, we can make this more challenging and we can stack more blocks. We can stack, um, if, we, if it's too hard, we can stack less blocks. It's kind of up to you um, and how you wanna do this. So we're gonna start by stacking 10 blocks. So we've got 10 blocks. You could also do the 10 Legos. We could have done Legos here, okay? I've got a dice. I've also got with me a deck of cards. You can pick, you can use dice or cards. We're gonna start with just dice. And so the way that we do this is, oh, my blocks are gonna fall. That's part of the, that's part of making this work, right? Okay, a nice steady blocks here. So I have 10 blocks. So 10 take away two. So now I take away two equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven equals eight left. Now I have eight blocks. I'm gonna roll my dice again. Three, one, two, three. Took away three. So eight take away three, one, two, three, four, five leaves me with five blocks left. If you don't have a um, dice, or if you just wanna try something different, you can also use a deck of cards. You can choose if you wanna keep the face cards in or out. If you keep the face cards in, I would make your tower taller. These face cards we're gonna say are minus 10 points, okay? Otherwise, you can just have your deck of cards. You can draw a card. What number? Four, so I would take away four. So I have five left in my stack, and I would take away four of them, which leaves me only one left. Okay, there's lots of ways we can play that. So again, you can decide how high you want to stack. You could take all of your Legos and you could stack them very, very high. Maybe you really like numbers and you are good at numbers and you want to subtract big numbers. You can stack them high. Or we can just start with 10 and subtract 10. 10 is always a good place and a good number to start with. And once you get the hang of it, then you can maybe add some more and subtract more. So we've got our blocks on here, our Lego blocks. I'm gonna draw a card, three, so 10. I'm gonna take off three Lego blocks, take away three, leaves me with seven Lego blocks left. It's a fun little subtraction game that you can play with Legos or with blocks, with cards, and with dice.